sorry. Hey, Dr. Seitz. Um, I've been reading quite a bit that uh, the coronavirus, or really any virus, I guess, is just too small for the media in a HEPA filter to capture. Um, how is it that you are convinced that this will work? Ah, uh, um, good question. Let me, let me try and illustrate that with a drawing. Okay, so, and we've all seen these viruses in, in photographs by now, that these are pictures that are taken on microscopes, and so microscopes, special microscopes, scanning electron microscopes in some cases, they see these very, very small viruses, which in scientific terms would be 20 to 30 nanometers, or 0 0.03 microns in size. Really, really, really tiny. So what happens, James, is as far as these particles go, if you were to put a HEPA filter down, it would have giant, big holes in it. So a HEPA filter is like a net trying to catch fish. These are tiny little fish, and the HEPA filter has great big holes. So anybody who says that that net can't capture that virus would be 100% correct. But that's not what's actually happening in practice. When you take an individual uh, virus and isolate it, you get that kind of comparison. But the reality is that viruses, particularly the ones that a HEPA filter will capture, would typically be immersed or submerged inside saliva or mucus. So there is a small, small drop of mucus. And this guy, let's give it an arbitrary diameter of one micron which is still incredibly small. So that one micron particle that you breathe out would actually be floating around in the air indefinitely. It would never settle to the ground. Eventually it would evaporate. But before it evaporates, because saliva and mucus don't really evaporate that quickly, this one micron particle would float around and inside that would sit all these coronaviruses or influenza viruses or whatever type of virus that may be infecting that mucus droplet. So there we have it, a little bit like a raisin bun. We've got the bun, and inside it's full of raisins. Those raisins are very small. Those are the viruses. And now, whoop, this pen isn't working. And now we have our net. There's our net. And these particles would be captured in the HEPA filter. So the HEPA filter is not trying to catch individual viruses. It's trying to catch the raisin buns, these mucus droplets or these saliva droplets that are floating around in the air, just like cigarette smoke is in a smoky room. The idea of the HEPA filter is that you draw that contaminated air through that HEPA filter, all those aerosols, all those fine droplets with the virus and catch on that surface. And what comes out the other side is essentially the air minus all these very, very dangerous aerosols and that's why HEPA filtration really works it'll clean the air and whatever comes out of it will no longer have um, viruses in it oh great thanks Michael you're welcome